welcome back to a special edition of the Beaver Sports Show for the NBA. We're going to kick off this episode with Michelle Piggin for the men's soccer. The Oregon State men's soccer team played the San Diego State Aztecs last Thursday in Corvallis. The first goal of the game was not scored until the second half in the 63rd minute by Beaver Will Seymour. Less than a minute later, Kyrie Shelton scored another goal for the Beavs, ending the game with a 2-0 win over the Aztecs. On Sunday, Oregon State played the number 6 UCLA Bruins for their last home game of the season. The game began early in the 8th minute of the first half with a goal by Bruin Andrew Tusazemaha. The rest of the first half was quiet, coming to an end with UCLA in the lead 1-0 and the Beavs out shooting the Bruins 6-4. The second half kicked off early as well with a goal by UCLA's Larry Jock. It wasn't until the 84th minute that freshman Timmy Mueller scored OSU's first goal of the game. The match ended with a UCLA victory 2-1, leaving the Bruins undefeated for 19 straight games. Thanks, Michelle. And now here's Amber with women's volleyball. Over at Gill Coliseum last Friday, the Beavers women's volleyball team played their annual Spike Out Cancer game versus the Arizona Wildcats. Fans and players sported pink t-shirts to rally with those battling cancer and in support of fighting for a cure. The Beavers started off strong, holding their own against an aggressive Arizona offense. Mary-Kate Marshall led the team with an overall 13 kills, contributing to the Beavs' close first game, but the team fell short at a 19-25 loss. In the second set, Oregon State came out fighting, playing the closest game of the night. With consistently longer rallies, the Beavs' Taylor Woods and Caitlin Driscoll put up a big front against Arizona. Laura Shant and Amanda Brown then scored the winning point on a block leaving OSU with a win of 29-27. That second game kept Arizona on their feet, and the Wildcats did not let up the third and fourth sets. The Wildcats' quick offense and strong defense led to their overall 61 successful attacks of the night. The Beavers fell short the last two sets at 15-25 and 14-25. The Beavers' next game is this Friday, October 31st at 6 p.m. at Gil Coliseum. Thank you, Amber. And now it's time for the hashtag game. So, hashtag number one. Chandler Parsons got a three-year, $46 million deal with the Mavericks, and Dirk Nowinski only got $25 million. So Chandler Parsons really looks up to Dirk. He absolutely adores him. Dirk, on the other hand, you know, he kind of said, he kind of talked a little smack, was kind of saying that Chandler has to pay for all the meals on the road, because that's Dirk's money. Give right. a hashtag for this odd relationship between the two. Uh, hashtag Creed. Cash rules everything around Dirk. Based <laughs> on the popular Wu-Tang song, Cash rules everything around me. Uh, yeah, Parsons has to pay for dinner. Cash rules everything around Dirk. Creed. All right, Jake. Uh, not a Chandler Parsons fan, so I'm, I think Dirk. Hashtag pretty boy pray up. Pay up. <laughs> Wait, pay up or pray up? I didn't quite get I said that. pay up. OK, sorry. <laughs> Because <laughs> Chandler Parsons, we all know how we feel about it. He cannot guard. He's a little point okay nine, point nine. But uh, yeah, Chandler Parsons, but he's paying for everything. Dirk owns him. No, I was given. All right, Jake wins this one. What? That's, that's a given. <laughs> that is a given. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. What was it again? Um, Cash rules everything around Dirk. Pretty boy pay nah, up. Creed. Pretty boy pay up. Pretty boy pay up. All right. He was on. Hashtag number two. <laughs> NBA rankings right now, so I think we can all assume LeBron James, number one, Chris Paul, number two, number three, Anthony Davis. Now, a lot of people are surprised by this, and that's a lot of high expectations for Anthony Davis. So give a hashtag for what you expect out of Anthony Davis this season. Hashtag brow mode. Uh, Anthony Davis has the brow. Uh, it's a play on beast mode for Marshawn Lynch. Anthony Davis is a beast if you have not watched him play. He does play for the Pelicans, so it's kind of hard to watch Pelican basketball. But hashtag brow mode for this year. Okay. Jay? First of all, the brow thing's overplayed. It's been said like <laughs> a million times. Hashtag he ain't Timmy, though. Explain. <laughs> so, obviously, you can't deny Anthony Davis is a beast, but I'm sick of the Tim Duncan comparisons. Absolutely sick of him. Every show that I watch, every show, he's compared to Tim Duncan, and he's not even, he's not even the third best power forward in the league. Who? Davis? No. Who do you think is better than him? Aldridge. LaMarcus. Oh, right. And Tiger maybe... Homer. Maybe Tim Duncan still. If you want to go... No, probably not Blake. Wins. <sighs> Jeff. Thank you. 
stuff on this one. Sorry, Jake. Yeah. That one was kind of weird. Basic. You tried to make the whole argument with Timmy and it just didn't work. Whatever. All right, tied game, final one. Hashtag number three. Rajon Rondo kind of messed with the press a little bit because he's out with a broken hand from slipping in the shower. And so he basically told everyone that he'll decide when he wakes up from his nap if he will be playing. So give a hashtag for your thoughts on Rondo messing with the press. Uh, hashtag on the way out. I think Rondo's just kind of done with Boston. It he's is just, true. He's just going to have fun from here on out. He's on his way out. He's going to be a Laker. You heard it okay. first. Okay. Hashtag on the way out. So Rondo has never been one for the media. He's kind of like, you know, kind of like a Russell Westbrook a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to hashtag Ron don't care. <laughs> See, That's it says it's, it does that say Rondo. Pretty That's pretty good. Rondo, yeah, pretty I won good. pretty much. I don't. We don't even have to discuss. All right, Jake. Sorry, game over. Jake wins it. Right. And that's that for hashtag game. Now we'll take it out to Michael Stewart. Michael Stewart here with Beaver Sports. Brett Bryant with Beaver Sports. Also with Natalie Harrison and Olivia. Well, let's start off with an easy question. What was the worst game you guys had here at Oregon State? Mm, I'd have to say my worst game or the worst experience for the game was when we lost to Stanford my sophomore year, um, five to zero. We got our we got our butts kicked. What about you, Harrison? Uh, for me, it'd probably be the Colorado game. Um, I got in a lot of trouble with the newspaper because the last snap of that game for me, my left guard blocked me from actually snapping. So Tim and Trevor had to run after the football after a PAT, and it uh, was all my fault apparently. So it wasn't good. <laughs> I would also say mine was against um, Stanford. We were coming off a 9-0 and winning streak, and we got killed, so it was not too fun. Not being athletes anymore, what would you guys say the worst part about not being an athlete is and the best part about not being an athlete is? Mm, I, I honestly would say like the best part was kind of the experiences you had within the athletic department. You kind of got to be with every team and enjoy like this athletic side of school and I mean, that was that was the main thing for me. The uh, best part, I mean, the part I missed the most is probably the camaraderie with the teammates and stuff like that, the locker room atmosphere, you know, hanging out with your teammates, just doing stuff like that, I kind of miss. I'd say the best part not, about not playing the sport is how much time you have. Like, we have so much more time on our hands now, and it's honestly awesome. Thank you, Michael. And now it's time to talk about the NBA best yep. time of the year. It's back. So it just started last night. Huge games went down last night. But what we really want to talk about is the Blazers versus the Thunder tonight mm -hmm. in Portland. Huge game. Yeah. It's going to be huge. What do you guys expect out of this game? Blazer win. I mean, that's fair to assume. <laughs> Kevin Durant. To put it bluntly, yeah. Kevin Durant isn't playing the league MVP. Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson's a good player, but he's not no, Kevin Durant. He's out. Oh, he's out. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, double, yeah. It, it should be a win, but it's a long season. It should season. be a win. It's, I mean, the Thunder aren't, by a long shot, they're not terrible they're without not Kevin bad. Durant. They're still but got Ibaka, Perkins, and uh, yeah. Stephen Adams is a good Don't player. Don't even put bench. Perkins in that discussion. What, is whopping bad. four points, five rebounds a game? He's an enforcer, though. If, if this were hockey, Perkins would be a very valuable okay. player. Okay. I'm going right. to go win. I, I, I think. Win. Yeah, I think Portland wins, but it's the first game of the season. Myers is out it's, with a cold. That <laughs> I'm not even. Poor little Myers. You need Myers. I mean, if you're Portland, you need Myers to play because you need Myers on the bench for some. Yeah, I, nah, no, we that's don't. debatable. Yeah, you do. That's Myers, debatable. Joel Freeland. You need Myers to give the three sign. We when, got Joel. He could probably still do that when he's sick. I hope so. Myers is the heart know. and soul of that team. No, don't <laughs> even go there. Okay. All right, here. Go Blazers, though. That's all. Yes. Like. Well, talking about Russell Westbrook. So this is really his. You know, his, his first game His moment really for the next, what, two to five weeks? Probably like five, five weeks, weeks now? Yeah. yeah. How do you think he's going to do? I think he'll be 40 fine. 40 to 50 shots a game. <laughs> Something like that. It'll probably be Kobe. Two assists. The, uh, be Kobe in the 07 season. It where will. He just it didn't will. How he had Smush Parker and Kwame Brown. Kobe <laughs> references. The Kobe references. It's a topical to reference. <laughs> it works for what we're talking about. I mean, they're not going to they're not gonna do terrible without until Kevin gets back, but I'll probably give him a solid. 10, they, 15 losses in that time period. Yeah, that's, that's that's a lot. 
I wouldn't next give five them weeks, that many. They're gonna. I'm sure they're gonna. They're they're probably gonna have a stretch where they play teams from the East. So. Oh well, be, yeah. They. Yeah. As long as they their can schedule's beat, not that easy though. As long as they can the beat up on teams from the East and just kind of stockpile those wins and win the games that they're supposed that's to. Every they'll West. Be, yeah. They'll be every fine Western until Kevin Durant right comes now. back. And they will. Sure. They'll be good. You know, it might it might even help Durant. Maybe Durant will be healthy and ready to go. Come play. He'll be refreshed because he missed those two months. We'll see. Watch. We'll see. We yeah. will see. What about what the fact draw. that Steve Blake is back with the Blazers? Steve Blake, a solid pickup. You can't I'm stop fine. him. You can I'm only fine with Mo leaving. Fine with it. I'd be okay with that, too, if I were a Blazer fan. Mo Williams shot you guys out of games last yeah, year. like Kobe. Uh, Kobe. But Kobe shoots his way back into games. That's true. Shoot till you're hot. Mo, did, Mo had his moments, but... You gotta shoot till you're hot, man. I'm gonna go Steve Blake, solid backup. Steve Blake is a, is a good backup to have. Ten points I think, if that's all we need. I think you could get Six, ten. seven assists. Ten's kind of a lot. For CJ's a bright, almost like a bright light this year. I don't know. I don't know how McCall, he's No McCall one knows how he's going to do. McCallum played well in He doesn't have a fast playing style. I think Barton could be kind of cool. Yeah. Barton could be a good cool player off the bench that they could use as like I'm a I'm really looking forward to that, actually. And I think Cayman will be good off the bench, too. Yeah. I think Cayman will be solid. Because it's just yeah, another. Two seven footers. It's just, just another big guy to throw when you get to come playoff time. Exactly. You have Robin Lopez, Joel Freeland, Myers Leonard, of course. And. Chris Kamen. Yeah, I'm I mean, excited. Myers, man. What Myers do you guys Why think the, the Blazers playing? need to do in order to win this game? What do they need to focus oh. on? I would not let Westbrook get off. Westbrook can't have a big game. I mean, he, he, well, it all has to do with Damian's defense. It, all could, yeah, which it does come down to Damian Lillard. Supposedly defense. has increased since last year. I don't know how much. You can only hope. You can only hope. That's literally the only flaw. Yeah, that is kind of his biggest flaw in his game. That's he know. says. It's, he, it's he only, says it's only that's half, what he's been working on all half summer. Part of the game. Yeah. It is. It is. It's yeah. extremely important. It's a big part. Which yeah. you need against Russell Westbrook. You do need that he's against a freak Westbrook. athlete. So. But the Blazers are the better team. I think they. Oh, by kinda, far, so much more weapons. Out. Lamarcus is going to much deeper, body the paint. They're much deeper than the Thunder right now. Ocean's is deep. Uh, no, Compared to the Thunder. Deep. Compared to the Thunder, sure. Kendrick Perkins is like a rock in the shallow end. Perkins is good for like he'll. He'll probably foul out of the game, and he'll probably make Lopez. He'll he'll get Lopez hurt, or banged okay. up, or something like that. Don't say that, but whatever. And that's what it'll it be. Does. It'll be. That's what Perkins. Does. I agree. I agree. Blazers win. Yeah, I agree. Rip Blazers City. win. Keep tuning in. Lots more Blazer wins to come. All right. Well. Sure. I guess we'll see you tonight. Yes. Pull through with the exactly. Blazer win. So that game will be on tonight at 7:30. Also Saturday, you can check the Beavers on the Pac-12 Network against Cal here in Corvallis at 7.30. And that is about it for our show tonight. So I am Jenna Lee. I'm Jeff Lowe, sick em. <laughs> And I'm Jake McGrady. I don't have anything to say after that. Have a good night. Have a, have good, a good night. night. <laughs>